Welcome back class, I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. And again, enough time has passed for me to check in with my inner circle here, or my advisors rather, to see what's happening. Returned all that could be returned, repaid in kind for what could not. Eliana will store the Grey Warden treaties in the Skyhold Archives, remembrance of mistakes made and lessons learned. Great. Alright, House and Ladris. The quiet message arrived from House Edlounders today. Considering the speed of the response, it seems hard to believe the family had no knowledge of what Dorian found in the book. I wonder how long they've sat upon the secret, wondering if it might someday come to light. My dear Inquisitor, we are most appreciative of the information you provided. How scandalous to think there might be any connection between our house and those fiends of legend. It's not true, of course, and to reassure you on this point, I intend to dedicate my family toward helping the Inquisition in its righteous struggle. Magister Irian of House Imladris. Great. Just what we need, more Tavines. And... While most of Haven has been destroyed, the Chargers recovered some lost gear still intact. They also recovered a number of enemy corpses in hopes that these might help your experts understand more about the enemy we face. The Trinit Crimisius Aklasi. Well, thank you. That was very Aklasi of you. Get it? See, it's... Because it sounds like Classy? But that's also his name. Well, I thought it was pretty good. Anyway, done, 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 done. Ah. That one hides behind the sword, so it's hard to see it. Alright. Off you At go, Josephine. And I think that should complete pretty much all the stuff that we were waiting to do. Most likely. Let's we'll just see send what the rest of these folks off to gather some stuff, I guess, because there's not much else for them to do. And go get some money. To work? Alright. Let's go check out Red Templars on the Storm Coast. I want to get in there and just stab everything. Yeah, let's venture forth right now. And we'll bring one, two, and three. The original party from back in the old days. Back in episode 1, 2, and 3 and all that. Before we had a choice. Silaze, the hearth keeper. I am the one. He says, I am the one. But the kid is not my son. <laughs> we cannot right. allow the Red Templars to maintain a foothold here. Right. Dispatch for you. Okay. Tell me about the thing. Word for you. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Probably not, though. Yeah, definitely not. Alright, potions. I've got the stuff. I think I'm gonna go with these. Because we're just rolling in spindleweed now. Dorian, you've got one, two, and... Three. Good stuff. And who else? Just make sure those are filled up. I mean, I know we're not taking him out anywhere at the moment, but it is important to make sure that we keep these things in the way that they are. Wow. So you just... Alright. I mean, I suppose that's one way of doing that. Let's go down to this camp. Boop. I wonder where the dragon in this area has gone. I bet I could take it. <clears throat> nothing to report, sir. You'd best have nothing to report, sir. Because 
of the stuff that I said. Yeah. Alrighty. This looks like a logging stand that I've already claimed, and that's what it is, so good. I heard something, but it wasn't a... I guess it wasn't a dragon. It was just more of a cranky bird of some sort. As I recall, this is where we want to go. Hi, Inquisitor. You should get out of the earth. There you go. Glad to have helped with that. Okay. Deep mushrooms. Always super great. I would rather not linger here. Well, you know what? Now we're going to. Yeah, take that. We lingered. Anything in these boats? Indeed there is, but it is just plants. Even so, wouldn't want to leave the Black Lotus behind. Because, as guessed, I did not have the seeds from it as yet. And I probably want that key as well. Come on, Varric. Get it together, bro. Alright. Red Lyrium. The Red Templars have dug in here. I'm certain King Alistair would appreciate having them removed from Ferelden's shores. Speaking of removing things from Ferelden's shores, let's get you leveled up. I know that's not really related, but... It takes what I can get. Hmm. And I believe Solus also wants to level up. So should we get you some points in this fairly useless skill you have? And Polo the Abyss might be fun. Alright. So that triple reminds me. You're still using this enhanced amulet of willpower, but we have a superb one now, so you should put that on. And a, you've got a focus belt. Hmm, I don't know, man. What's this one? Plus 10 guard max. That doesn't seem too useful, so we'll give you this range defense belt. And Varric, you've got a stamina amulet. We're going to give you a superb amulet of cunning. Armor penetration, crit damage bonus, focus gain bonus. Uh, I guess we'll stick with that for now. Don't have a leaping shot. Yeah. Good stuff. Hey, y'all. Everybody focus on that guy. Hey, there goes Full of the Abyss. Nice. Makes sense that well. Liliana did the recruiting when the Inquisition started. Not everyone can be intimidated into signing up, after all. I recruited Commander Cullen. Lucky him. He's made no <laughs> complaints about my manners. His last boss was a raving lunatic who turned into a statue. That's not a high bar. I don't know about that. Being a raving lunatic who turns into a statue is a pretty high bar to me. I mean, not everyone can manage to become a statue. I mean, when was the last time you became a statue? Never, exactly. Alright. Storm the Red Templar Stronghold. Well, that's what we're doing. 
and no one's gonna stop us. Certainly not any Red Templars. Though I'm probably going to eat my words at some point in this mission. Look at that. Already time to begin with that hallowed process of word eaten. hiding there somewhere. It's hard to keep track of everything that's going on here, so you just have to trust your instincts. Like there, I actually use several abilities. And it's hard to stop the swinging once you start. Spirit Essence Apparatus. So that's down there which means that we need to take some extra steps to reach that destination. It looks like we should probably go down there though, because the way forward is probably here. So let's get down there and deal with what the Red Templar behemoth. Nobody go down there. Let's just wait for it. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Is it coming slowly for us? It's slowly coming for us. <laughs> Okay. Get to it. Come on, we can do this. It's not that tough. Let's go. You gonna make me do this all by myself? Let's see here. Clear commands. That's fine, I mean, I can do it myself. I just rather not. See? All by myself. No big deal whatsoever. All by myself. I was fighting the behemoth. Lots of stuff to check out down here. But first... Is this the primeval There's an elven area? artifact nearby. Really? Okay. There you go. That should help ward off demons. Yeah, here's open. I mean, I just assume you know what you're talking about, but you can't take that for granted. So yeah, there's where we. I totally called that. I'm the smartest guy around. Okay, what do we got here? I saw this ping on some stuff for me. So this over here is what? It's more summer stone? Yeah, I guess we may as well. You never know when you're going to need piddly little level one metals. It could be at any time, at any moment. And if you're caught without, boy, are you going to be embarrassed. It'd be quite the faux pas. Sure, I'll take it. I mean, if it's just going to lie there otherwise. But we'll be sure to try and find its rightful owner. Not really. That was a lie. Ooh, nice dagger. Nice dagger is something I say a lot, despite very rarely using the dagger guy. But the character I play off screen in the Well, the character I've played for an hour off screen with the wife when we were home over Christmas was uh 
a dual wielding rogue. So there's that, I suppose. And forwards. What do we got? The red potion was bitter and burned my throat. It was nothing like Valyrium I know. There was a hum in my mind, a held note that seemed to course through my entire being. The power it brought was incredible. I felt as if I held all the world in my palm, and I could crush it with a thought. Is this what the Maker feels? I can think of nothing else but that power now. A taste of the limitless pa makes it impossible for a man to be content with the ordinary. Why be what I am? What Many I of more? these Red Templars were good men and women once. Ashamed to see them corrupted beyond recognition. Yeah, get some balls. Oh, what was that? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There's treasure. I've got to get the treasure, even though it's probably it's not very good. But that's okay. We got it. That's the important part. We got the treasure. Or summer stone. I don't know about you, but I could go for some stones from other seasons at this point. It's all summer this, summer that. What if I want an autumn stone? Or a spring stone? A Bruce spring stone. Peekaboo. No? Alright. Well... So last... What do you think this Corypheus actually is? A darkspawn, as he appears. But what of the orb he wields and the dragon he commands? This is no ordinary darkspawn. His true advantage is the red lyrium. It is corrupted by the blight as he is. Thus he taps into its power twofold. Whatever he was before, that is what makes him dangerous now. Hmm. I can see how that might be. You may notice that Sandra is using that sword that the king sent us. The king of Ferelden, that is. Pretty nice sword. It doesn't do as much damage as uh, the hatchet that she had before. But it looks a lot cooler, as you can no doubt see by now. Alright. Cass, cass, take it down. So yeah, you can see the sword there. And I put an or uh, a rune on it so it glows. It's pretty cool. Also, she's wearing the Heavy Warden armor, which I like quite a lot. I kind of wish there was a way to get some cool-looking armor like that for Argus, but I also find it kind of hilarious to be wearing what appears to be a velour tunic into battle. This pleases me. Alright, well... Oh, up there. How does one approach that area? I mean, it really does look like a velour tunic, or possibly felt. I only wish there was some way to remove the pants. Then the illusion would be complete. Now this looks ominous, indeed. What do you think we shall find up ahead of us? Why, it looks almost as if... We might find... Some vagabonds. Ragamuffins, if you will. Hi there. I'll be your executioner for the evening. It's the dust, as it were. Hey, I, I actually believe timed we've that broken the Templar's hold here. There may yet it? be stragglers, but we've dashed whatever plans they might have had. Well, good for us, and that's actually good timing because that's the 
20 minutes. This boat still looks seaworthy. Yes, this boat is indeed a seaward. <laughs> I should probably get you to break that one down. Perfect. Now there's just the one remaining. Where is it after all? There's just one red lyrium deposit somewhere in the world. Is it over here? No, it's not. Well, we'll find it someday. But, until then, I'm just going to check what's up at the end here, if anything. Because you don't want to miss out. There you go, there's an urn. Perfect. You know how much I like urns. I mean, if you've been on this channel, you're certainly aware of my love of urns. And if I haven't made it explicit before now, well now you know, urns are the best. They have earned their way. They have really earned a spot in my heart. Yes, I can certainly yearn for some urns. Now before I burn out, and before you spurn me, Let's get on this rowboat. What do we expect to find here? I think that's fairly self-explanatory. But we'll find it in the next episode. So until then, all the best.